वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द इट एन अदर यूजर इवेंट एंड एस टी एम डी मंथली इंड सो टूडे आई विल बी गोइंग टू शेयर लाइक क्विक ओवर व्यू ऑल अबाउट द इन टू न्यू फीचर वट बेसिकली लाइक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस इन टर्म्स ऑफ टू थ्री जीरो सेवन सर्विस रिलीज एंड बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज लाइक जुलाई अपडेट सो लेट मी क्विक शेयर माई स्क्रीन एंड go through that app management feature which is uh, more exciting for you i believe like uh, most of the folks were uh, waiting for the installation app Uh, flexibility from the Microsoft uh, Intune company portal. So this time you will get uh, like uh, this feature with this uh, latest release, and you have now ability to inst- uninstall the application from the Intune company portal. So is it uh, basically uh, for the Windows devices? And uh, it another like uh, Intune started like uh, supporting the new Google Play Android management API. So in terms of the like uh, what basically the changes uh, introduced in terms of the manage Google Play and all. So we. Will Will, uh, check it out and the another like uh, extended uh, terms in terms of the application report is introduced uh, basically the intune discovered app so you will get an uh, enhanced reporting for the corporate on devices and the last is the just a minute let me maybe bring up the highlighter yeah so it another the feature is introduced which is for the mac os unmanaged unmanaged package installer so now you have the ability to uh, install the unmanaged uh, pkg or the custom pkg file specific to the mac os it was only limited for that uh, trusted or the signed package so this is the it another good feature and the couple of uh, few enhancement is done in terms of the web clip app type and uh, there is uh, specific changes when it comes to the windows power cell script when you are proceeding to deploy there was a few changes so the next uh, in terms of the device configuration so these are the like uh, highlighted uh, changes which was done or introduced with the latest edition of the july update so basically there was the support enhanced for the azure attestation services which is basically for the windows 11 devices and uh, as well as added the support for the scope tag which is uh, basically for the jebra life guard over the integration so it is uh, already in the public preview and couple of more uh, settings or the configuration profiles has been introduced which is basically for the mac os devices and the another like uh, the feature which was already the part of the previous Uh, june update which was the setting inside so now this feature is in currently in the gea so the next is the in terms of the device security you can see like uh, the temper protection is uh, basically the support has been introduced which is the basically for the avd multi session and a uh, few more policy or the configuration has been introduced for enhancing the support for the endpoint privilege management so which is the mostly the child processes and uh, how you can able to bring although like uh, elevation control and all though coming to the intune app so there is one newly added apps which is a dore and uh, this is basically for that like uh, enhancement of all though like uh, activities and although so this app is currently added in a protected app and a couple of more enhancement which is uh, basically introduced in terms of the monitoring and troubleshooting per so you will be able to see like a new reporting structure when you will uh, navigate to the compliance policy and all so you will now more like a granular report in terms of the setting compliance and the policy compliance so let's uh, move out quickly to that uh, demo part and check uh, what are the new features and all let me quickly share my screen so this is the microsoft intune admin center and uh, just i wanted to provide quick overview how you can able to uh, quickly know whether you have this latest update or not so you can simply navigate to the tenant administration on your uh, intune portal and by clicking on the tenant status you can see the service release so for for here like uh, in my case it is denoting as a 2307 service release so this is the like uh, most latest uh, service release and uh, the july update which is microsoft are currently bring up now let's uh, navigate to the uninstall apps ability so this feature is basically currently rolling out uh, slowly so you may expect this feature within like uh, one or two weeks so let's check it out whether i am able to see that uh, uh, functionality or not so i am quickly adding a new 
packages in the win32 app format so here i already have this uh, file converted which is with a into win extension so i'm not going to brief uh, more about the packaging part but i will just uh, quickly uh, check the i mean the feature so when you will navigate to that uh, program feature so basically you should have the function here to control like uh, whether you wanted this application to allow available uninstall or not but uh, i could see this feature is currently not available in my tenant so hoping for like uh, soon this feature will be get reached to the tenant as i mentioned like uh, this feature is uh, currently getting out uh, rolling out uh, slowly uh, to the each and every tenant so in case it is not available for you you don't need to worry another like uh, enhancement which was done basically for the uh, google play android api management so when you will move to the an android apps and click on the add button and choose the manage google play app here you can see like lots of uh, application will be get appeared so for example i am selecting uh, google chrome so here you can see the differences earlier like uh, you used to approve the application to add and go through the sync process and all but now you already only have the option to select this application so as soon as you will select this application and uh, you want to add so it will be going to uh, automatically sync to your tenant and the it another enhancement is like uh, the all this managed google play application will be auto automatically sync on the daily basis so you don't need to do any uh, action from the admin perspective the next part is the report enhancement in terms of the application so let me quickly check so when you will navigate to the monitoring section and uh, discovered apps so basically the intune discovered apps is uh, like a list of the detected apps to enroll devices in your tenant so it is kind of like uh, you can say is it kind of like a software inventory so this is the separate report for the app installation so by navigating to the apps monitor and discovered apps you can quickly check it out although application name application version and the device count along with so now with this latest release you can able to see although uh, like uh, details uh, for the android enterprise corporate on devices so this will include all those system apps as well as the installed apps so here you can see like uh, more than uh, around 200 records is fine and the device count is around getting appeared as a one or the three because uh, we don't have like like uh, less onboarded corporate on devices profile so this is the it another enhancement okay so the another feature in terms of the application itself like uh, when you will navigate to the mac os you have now ability to uh, onboard the package which is not i mean uh, signed basically so while selecting the line of business application or the mac os application you can simply going to onboard the unsigned package over it so but uh, there are like a few consideration and the prerequisites that you need to be taken care like uh, the file size cannot be uh, two gigs or the like uh, you should have the latest uh, intune management ins extension installed on your device for the management purpose so this is uh, at another like uh, enhancement in terms of uh, basically the application the another part is the ios so there is like a web clip application so as you know, know like a web clip is basically allowing you for the quick access for the web url so by deploying the web url you can have like a easily place in the user profile or the i mean the work profile so by navigating to the web link uh, application creation process you can uh, see like uh, there is a uh, lots of uh, new add-ons which is uh, added like uh, the you have the ability to manage all the application so let me quickly check i think i maybe i'm missing the option or something uh no worries so we will uh, walk you through that uh, maybe later and uh, there is the another uh, in terms of the device security you may find out like uh, there is microsoft azure attestation which is um, called as a ma service so you will have this better granular control with this specific to that uh, compliance policy so let me navigate to the compliance policy over it and show you what are the like uh, required settings required for the uh, to using the services 
So once you will navigate to the compliance policy and here I'm quickly clicking on the create button and uh, selecting the platform as a Windows 10 and later you can see this is the uh, profile type is automatically selected as I move to the Windows section. So here for example I am writing the test so inside the device health you can see like uh, there are multiple policies in terms of the bit locker secure boot and the code integrity so all this should be allowed and required to use the mars services so earlier like uh, windows 10 devices and uh, although we are using this uh, I mean, th this is the required. So this will be continue, but uh, this is the slightly change in terms of the Windows 11 compliance policy. Okay, so now let me quickly show you that uh, details. Basically, when it comes to that uh, scripting, so what's new and uh, you need to be just uh, be careful while creating a new script specific to the Windows devices. So uh, navigated to the devices script and here I'm selecting the Windows 10 and later platform. Uh, it was a test so this is the basically the default setting uh, like uh, run this script using the logged in cred credential and uh, enforce script uh, signature check so usually these settings were set to the no previously but uh, now onwards this will be uh, bring back to the yes so by default this will be selected as a yes for here you can see this is uh, not uh, selected default as not get the latest update so this need to be you need to be take care while uh, creation of the new package and all though so now comes to the reporting part let me quickly show you what what basically the new enhancement so when you will navigate to the report section under that uh, device compliance and uh, here you can see the two tabs over it so by clicking on the report you can see like uh, there is two different sets of report which is currently on the public preview so this is the setting compliance preview and this is the policy compliance uh, preview so with the help of the setting compliance preview you can have this uh, more control like uh, you can check the number of devices in the various compliance state for the settings and the similar way it will go to that uh, policy compliances and uh, the couple of more like uh, I mean the enhancement or the improvement uh, done which is basically in terms of the security baseline I won't say the enhancement but basically this is uh, basically moved from the public preview to the geo so when basically you will uh, navigate to the secu uh, endpoint security and uh, while creating the security baseline you might have seen like uh, there was like a uh, latest uh, here you can see while creating the latest uh, security baseline policy you may see like uh, there was uh, new enhancement was done to add that basically provide you the more insights about that what basically the policies and all so this is basically on the GA so it is not with this uh, MDM security baseline but uh, when you will uh, maybe proceed with that uh, endpoint baseline and all those so you will get the details of that uh, baseline insight based on that uh, configuration what uh, basically you all are doing and uh, there is one another enhancement in terms of that uh, basically the reporting point review so the app configuration policy when you will navigate to the any other so you can see uh, we have the two deployed application configuration so I'm quickly switching to that uh, Microsoft Defender configuration and uh, clicking on the overview I could see okay the status is basically not saying uh, because maybe uh, the policy is not yet targeted so under the monitoring you you might notice the earlier you had the user install status and all those so uh, now onwards you will only see this uh, device install status and a couple of more enhancement in terms of the device status like uh, uh, the success error and earlier it was like uh, showing uh, some of the more tabs so these are the like uh, latest changes introduced specific to the app configuration yeah so this is all about the latest uh, feature and the changes which was recently introduced so if you have any questions or anything you can quickly ask <music>